Hello, happy new year and happy new moon in Capricorn. Um, Saturday, January 6th, I believe that's what day it is. <laughs> um, the new moon is shifting into Capricorn and so um, it's a dark sky, blank slate, start over, newness. Um, Capricorn is a great time to um, set commitments and boundaries. Earth sign, very grounding. The new moons are always great for, for intentions, um, new intentions. And New Year's are usually people set resolutions, um, intentions, goals. So it's great, lots of energy right now focusing on if you want to create it, this is the great greatest time to build it and imagine it and envision it. Um, and also, it's an eclipse, um, not seen in North America, but in some parts of the world. And eclipse, eclipse energies are really good for resetting, clearing out, um, starting over. So, with all that in mind, we're going to go into our meditation and see where it, it leads. So I invite you to find a comfortable seat, either cross-legged or sitting up, up with your hips propped on something so that your spine can be long. Um, the most important thing is that your spine is nice and long. And then I'll invite you to close your eyes and take a nice deep breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's do that one more time and make noise on the exhale. Inhale. And now you can inhale and exhale normally through the nose. Think of the breath coming down into the belly, into the womb space or the pelvis. Deepening, filling you, feeling the prana, the life energy that is breath in your whole body. And feeling that earth sense of grounding, connectivity. I want you to imagine a gold cord coming out of your tailbone and going down into the earth. This gold cord of rope really rooting down. Feel the strength, the presence, the magic, the bliss. It's gold. And then keep that feeling there. I want you to envision a gold ball of light about a foot above your head. And feel those two opposing energies. This gold cord rooting you down and a gold orb above your head. This is your connection to the earth and your connection to source. You are magic. You are beauty. You are bliss. You are creation. And then let that go. Let those visualizations go. Keep the energy if that feels good. And then I want you to invite your inner child to step out in front of you. And I want, to, I want you to see your inner child there. Perhaps he or she is sad. Perhaps they're super happy and bubbly. Whatever state or emotion they're in, just accept them, love them, send them compassion. Send yourself compassion. And if you're ready, and if your inner child is ready, I want you to open your arms and invite them to come in. If that happens today, great. If it doesn't happen today, that's okay too. Don't force it. Let your inner child come when they're ready. And so when they're ready, if they come to your arms, I want you to embrace them. Embrace them 
wholeheartedly hold the inner child of yourself like you've never been held before. There's often many times in life where we abandon ourselves. We abandon our inner child. And this is an opportunity to bring back some healing, some wholeness, some nurturing and love for yourself. You don't need anyone else. You've got you. You've literally got you. Share any words that may be coming between you and your inner child in this beautiful embrace. Or perhaps you're still just standing in front of each other. Allow the emotions to come. Allow the wisdom to come. Share any last thoughts that you may have. And then I want you to tell your inner child that you love them, you have them, you are safe, you are so loved, and you will always be with yourself. And you feel that feeling and hold it into your heart, feel it in your heart space. And then I want you to let that visualization go. Let your inner child go. Know that they're always with you. I want you now in this super grounded state, super connected state. I want you to feel the energy that you want to embody in 2019. Feel whatever energy it is you're calling in. It'll emanate in your whole body. Whether it's serenity, presence, abundance, strength, health, vitality, sexuality. It could be any and all of those things. Um, but feel whatever that feeling is. Really, really feel it. Embody it. Sense it. Maybe there's a word that's coming to you. You can own that word. Use it as your mantra this year. The word that is coming to you is magnificence. I know there's a lot of words coming to you, but that's one of them. <laughs> And with that, I'll invite you to open your eyes again, if you wish. Write that word down, write anything down. Um, journaling is a beautiful, beautiful practice. And also, while you're in this beautiful, cleared state, it's a really great time, if you haven't already, to write down any intentions um, for the new year, or this moon cycle. Or just know that you can come back to this feeling anytime you want. You can come back to this video anytime you want and feel it again. Um, if that was hard for you to meet your inner child, that's totally okay. And just give yourself lots of love and compassion and uh, forgiveness, self-forgiveness. And if you need anything, please reach out. I'm happy. I'm happy to assist. I'm here. And um, happy new moon. Happy new year. Love you guys. So blessed. I'm so blessed.